Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general of reading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So, current situation, Page of Cups, Challenge, High Priestess, Crowning Energy, Two of Pentacles, Core of the Situation, Nine of Pentacles, Past Energies, The Star, Future Energies, Possible Outcome, Seven of Pentacles, The Focus, Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have a Touch of Anxiety, Nine of Swords, but this is an energy of the mind. Uh, sometimes or most of the times it is self-inflicted and we need to snap away from it uh, overthinking a lot of things uh, monkey mind going left and right without a particular reason uh, the eight priestess is perfect to uh, describe the importance that the challenge has in this flow of energies getting in touch with the higher self with our intuition in order to realize what to do the high priestess knows everything but she speaks only the essentials she's in touch with the higher world the one that we cannot see but the one that we can feel if we pay the right amount of attention the right amount of attention needs to be put in favor of a token that can come your way guys or that others of you may decide to uh, extend in favor of a special person because you may have realized that uh, someone around you can be the type of person for you star energy so you know this person the interaction can be simple right now page of cups page of wands there is a juggling act involved in the situation which is should i open up to this person should i let them know that i like them will they like me back these type of considerations um, the pages are lovely energies because they are goofy and awkward for me because they need to go through the experiences but in this case with the eight priestess and the nine of pentacles we are good to go about that especially for you guys uh, but despite the awkwardness and the goofiness they still deserve attention because they have something important to say to share or to offer the token that can allow you guys to um, get the connection going with your uh, special star person is a meaningful one but we need to find the proper way to uh, to manifest it so the juggling act is about the necessity to break the cycle which is the one nine of swords related and maybe it is about competition maybe it is about the doubts that the other person may have options and so forth because the rough waters behind the man are a source of discomfort and the infinite symbol the loop needs to be broken so that we are not stuck anymore uh, this can be done thanks to a meaningful conversation for example the time factor is playing a role because of these two energies two of pentacles and seven of pentacles because the two of pentacles is an energy that is ongoing for me and the seven of pentacles is awaiting after all we know that this is a progression because it seems that the challenge needs to be properly fulfilled and some of you may need to take some time to realize how to move things forward especially if you are the one that needs to extend the offer of love for example the spark of passion the two of you single because of the nine of pentacles in the core of the situation um, we know the drill about the beautiful independent lady 
primary source of her own satisfaction. She can take care for all her needs, no interest whatsoever in codependent connections. At the same time, she is open to encounter a person that can match frequencies, values, virtues, aspirations, someone that, as I usually say, can be a fair companion. This recognition may have already taken place because of the star energy in the past position. The star is about a wish granted, we know that, but it's more than that, especially if we think about the A Priestess in the challenge position, because the star is about transparency, kind of being able to embrace the mindset of the beautiful lady completely naked in front of the universe. She doesn't care because she is amazing and she is displaying her most truthful version, her true colors, being in alignment with the highest possible version of ourselves. This can allow us to call in the type of opportunities that can offer, at the very least, the chance to manifest the wishes that are important for our hearts. You may have realized that a person can be some type of ideal companion. This can also be true vice versa, uh, if the reading is unfolding uh, like a mirror uh, for some of you. You can be a star person for um, another individual, and maybe they are the one that need to uh, extend a lovely token. These two pages are meaningful because they can uh, bring to the table a sincere set of emotions. And then we decide, because free will is always uh, a meaningful part of the game in the adventure that uh, we are called to embrace. Seven of Pentacles, guys, in the future energies, possible outcome. Uh, patience. We cannot rush things, but we need to follow some steps, basically, because we know that the man in the Seven of Pentacles has put in quite a lot of effort in favor of a situation, knowing that it's just a matter of time before he can reap the benefits and the fruits of the previous labor. Patience, as I usually say, is a powerful virtue. Uh, it can make all the difference. It is about a knowing that we need to follow some steps. It can be about getting to know each other better and better so that we can realize that uh, the partnership is meaningful. This can be also the inner process that can allow maybe some of you to release the Nine of Swords energy. Maybe there is a choice after all because the Two of Pentacles can be that also, meaning that we need to figure out if uh, this partnership can be uh, properly established. And maybe this choice is uh, something that you will have to make with the special person, trying to figure out how to uh, work things out properly. But the star energy and the nine of pentacles are super important because they are about the ability to be honest, to display a healthy self-confidence that can allow a person to realize if a connection is able to amplify these fine qualities. This is kind of the point. And the moment of silence that we can associate to the A Priestess will be uh, broken, in some sense, by the uh, lovely energies pages related, the spark of passion and an act of kindness that can allow to break the cycle that we see in the Two of Pentacles. And that can be the decision. Let's see what the wisdom of the Oracle deck has to say about this flow of energies. Let's pull some Oracle cards for guidance considering this flow. Three cards, here we go. Young energy, which is a number one magician uh, type of uh, vibration, 
energy of creation, let's make the connection happen, for example. It's in your hands. Well, it's in the hands of the person that will have to present and share the uh, love offer. Round and round, which is, as I usually say, kind of a two of pentacles vibration. There is something that is ongoing and we need to find a closing point so that we are not stuck anymore. We can do that by trusting our intuition, by asking ourselves the good questions, even by asking another person the good questions in order to find precious answers. Orphaned, this can be an energy about disappointments. Maybe there is a fear of uh, being disappointed. It can be something related to the Nine of Swords after all, but we need to embrace the star energy as the uh, most positive type of approach. Because maybe in the past something didn't work, but um, this can be a promising chance. Look, Treasure Island, bottom of the deck. Moving slowly but steadily towards the type of outcome that can fulfill wishes and desires. Exchanging gifts, bottom of the Treasure Island. This is a lovely energy. The two pages can be uh, able to display to display this uh, lovely vibration. Um, for me, it is also about time. Uh, when we share time with a special person, uh, we can do a lot of things. And as I usually say, the memories for me are the real gift. Let's see the activation deck, guys. Two more, here we go. Cause and effect makes ton of sense. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts, High Priestess, is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. There is an evaluation and then we make a choice, we present an offer or we receive it if it comes from the star person, for example. Um, and basically the effect can be in favor of a partnership that uh, is a fulfilling one. Respect. I love this energy. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. A res respectful connection, something that can vibe along with the uh, Nine of Pentacles lady. And joy, bottom of the deck. Some type of satisfaction that you can achieve together. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. This is the perfect uh, recipe to release the uh, Nine of Swords orphaned type of vibrations. We are kind of aiming high at a star and there is the chance to embrace a lovely partnership that can uh, take off with baby steps, but it can be a source of um, great satisfaction for the two of you. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear about this lovely flow, to be honest. I hope also that this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!